Now, the World AIDS Day will be commemorated on Friday. It will be a time to reflect on how well nations are doing in stemming HIV infections, providing treatment, and overcoming stigma and discrimination. For more insight, we're joined by Michelle Sidibe, the Executive Director of UN AIDS, and this is uh, the United Nations program on HIV and AIDS. Welcome to In Focus, Mr. Sidibe. Thank you very much, uh, Vincent. Yes, now we know that uh, one of the Millennium Development Goals was to kind of uh, take treatment uh, to at least 7 million people by 2015. First, where are you on that goal? No, I want to just to say that we are uh, breaking the trajectory of this epidemic. For the first time, we can say that uh, we have been able to reduce by 50% the new infection in uh, 25 countries, 13 uh, countries uh, from Africa. We are seeing a mortality rate going down everywhere, and we are seeing also an increase by almost 60% on the last 24 months on the numbers of people who are in need of treatment. So mm -hmm. treatment is increasing. We have to remember 10 years back, people were telling us we could not give treatment to poor people in Africa. We're having less than 100,000 people on treatment. Today we have more than 6 million people on treatment. Mm -hmm. We achieved the 7 million you are talking about. We have already 8 million people on treatment. That's great. Congratulations. And we know that uh, some of the countries that have done really well in bringing down the infection rates are countries like Ghana and a number of countries in, uh, in West Africa. What have these countries done that uh, other countries that uh, may not be doing that greatly can learn from? I think it's leadership, vision. And it is uh, just uh, this uh, mobilization of civil society, all different constituencies, faith-based organization. And we managed to broker the conspiracy of silence. Mm -hmm. Those countries have been able really to focus on areas where uh, they can have uh, a maximum of return on investment. So you take country like even South Africa. A few years ago, we could not even believe that we could increase by 75% the number of people on treatment. During the last two years, they have been able to have 1.7 million on treatment. They increased their budget. I think also we are reducing dependency rate in many places. Kenya now, is a good example. Now, one, one of the most critical groups of people is the young people, the youth who, have the, who are the future of the world. Uh, to what extent have they really come uh, in, 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 on, onto the table in how they can play a major role in actually changing uh, the future by ensuring an AIDS-free generation? I think you're right, because if you look at what is happening today, we are talking about a prevention revolution. But this prevention revolution, it's young people who have been leading that every single place. We are seeing young people today refusing to be, just to be considered as a passive beneficiaries of our program. They want to be actor of change. And we are seeing that uh, their commitment is uh, leading a transformation. This is unique. First, uh, making sure that we talk about sexuality education, uh, building skills uh, which will help them to negotiate their sexuality in more responsible manner. So young people are critical. If we don't work with them, if we don't use uh, uh, the new medium, which is uh, um, media, social media, uh, we will not be able to contain the epidemic. In, now, yesterday, I just attended an event at your offices here in Washington, D.C., and it has something to do with the uh, violence against uh, people with HIV, and especially women. How big is this a problem in African uh, countries? It's a serious problem. Because uh, today we are talking about uh, uh, stopping the transmission from mother to child. We can eliminate completely the transmission. We can have a new generation uh, free of HIV by 2015. But it will not happen if uh, women are a uh, weapon of war. You were talking about Congo, you were talking about different places in northern Mali. We have to know that uh, the vulnerable groups in the front line are women. They are raped. And uh, when they are raped, uh, they are uh, finding themselves pregnant and uh, with uh, children who are born HIV. So we need to stop uh, the violence against women. And if not, it's not possible. And uh, again, girls' education is uh, critical. Uh, we are seeing when we are educating, when we are providing space for education, we are changing completely the pattern of uh, uh, this epidemic. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very and much. And I wish you well. Thanks. Uh, well, we do appreciate your perspective. Mr. Michel Sidibe is the Executive Director of UNAIDS. And if you want to comment on any of our stories, please visit us on Facebook. Just search for VOA In Focus and click like. You can also watch past reports and interviews on our Facebook page.